Hello and welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Tip of the Week. I'm Jeremy Sentner, a pre-sales architect with Sickage, a professional services firm based outside of Chicago. This week we will be covering how to create and utilize change-based alerts so that your team can stay informed and up-to-date on any major changes to the data within the system. Let's jump into Dynamics 365 so we can begin creating an alert. For this scenario, I'm going to create an alert on the customer group field of the customer master. If anyone changes the data in this field, I'm notified of the change and can review it if necessary. This could be a useful example of an alert because the customer group can affect terms of payment, pricing, and especially reporting. I'll begin by navigating to the All Customers form so I can begin creating the alert. From the Action pane, if I hit the Options button, I can create a new alert rule or manage my alerts. From this form, I begin making my selections on the data and who will be notified and what will be affected. I'll select the Customer Group field and alert me when the data has changed. I can be alerted for organizational-wide changes. And then I can be alerted for all customer records or just specific customer records. I can also set an end date as well as subject and message that goes along with this specific alert. Now that my alert rule is in place, let's make a change to the data to see the notification. It's important to note that these notifications run on a batch job and appear in the Action Center currently. In future releases of Dynamics 365, we should see email alerts into the fold. Now that the batch job is run, you can see in the Action Center that I have an alert notifying me of the change. When I click on the Action Center, I can actually see the change that was made and which record was changed. As you can see, alerts in this scenario can become very useful to an organization. These alerts can be set up across the system in many different modules and forms within the database. Thank you again for your time today, and see you next time for D365 Tip of the Week.